All right, so we're gonna do a managing on this little island. It's a Centropic Agroforestry Consortium. It's been going on for about five years. Before it was just plain grass, like, I'm not sure the name of this grass, if it's Bermuda grass, but it was initiated using that cardboard technique where you um, put it on top of the grass and let the grass decompose. So let's talk a little bit about this, these plants in here. I'm gonna use the Brazilian names, the names I know, and then I'll try to put the scientific names in the, in the description of the video. So here we have kind of understory uh, this plant that is really a medicinal plant it's called boldo here in brazil but it's really good for pruning and aromatic and has a very good flower for pollinators attracting pollinators here we have a canadulus which is kind of like an arrowroot you could make starch out of it it's kind of like a survival food species and it's really good for pruning also the old chop and drop as they say uh, we got pitangas coming out here everywhere there's a small one there's already one that's into production uh inga here this is the type of inga it's been pruned we had a frost so kind of destroyed it a bit uh, more boldo this is the arasamirin i'll try to get the, it's a type of guava try to get the name in the of the variety in the commentary in the description and then we have a lot of these vines climbing up here these are a type of cara duar uh, this might be the chinese variety or something cara duar chinese which is like kind of invasive. So I'm gonna be pruning that back for sure. And uh, have a nice Chabodicaba here. Another type of Inga here. It's more of a native. Here we have a native guava also, Arasa. And a lot of re-sprouts in there, turmeric and some grasses and spontaneous herbs coming up. We have a bakupari, which is a nice, nice fruit, understory fruit. And uh, up here, kind of a arasa that kind of climbed his way up there. And uh, this is a castanha do Maranhão kind of an emergent species, also good for pruning. Here we have uh, Uvaya, which is, I like, it seems to do well in part shade. It's from the uh, Pitanga family, the Myrtaceas. It's very nice. All right, so I'm gonna do a, a manejo and show you guys what it's gonna look like after I do the pruning. All right, so that's what it looks like afterwards. As I was doing the manejo, I kind of saw a few other plants I didn't talk about the first time around. So mangoes, 
Urukun. Very good for chopping. I didn't get everything. There's a little bowl that I didn't chop. But nice palm tree coming out here. Must be a bakuri. And uh, pretty much everything got chopped and on the ground in the island. Only plant which I separated is this one. It's a trapoeraba. Because if you just cut it and throw it on there, it's just going to take over. So usually it's just throws it in a compost bin and compost it or give it to chickens. Ended up pruning this and got a little lower with a battery powered chainsaw. And here's the jaburicaba. I'm not gonna prune it anymore. I was pruning them a little too much. And then we had a frost. And they got kind of kind of whooped. So better not prune them too much. Pitangas were really frost hardy. And these guys too. Not asamirings. So yeah, it's a little bit of this upkeep. And uh I'll try to post some more if you guys are interested.